Put your hands up if you've had haggis. OK, OK. There's some sheep guts virgin. I have this obsession with Scotland. There's this pub called The Politician in the Outer Hebrides. It's on the edge of the coast. The, the sea is just bright blue. And they do uh, nachos with haggis on. Oh. I just said haggis tortilla chips. And I was like, let's try it. <laughs> and it's just great. It's just melted cheese on top of crisps and haggis. Why did you love it so much? I think it was the moment. I was sitting there with my cousin. When the, the day was beautiful, the dogs were running around. But it was the mixture of melted cheese with haggis and then something crispy. It's a memory capsulated in food. Guess what? We got in contact with that very pub. No way! Oh. The politician. And this is the lovely Stephen and Julia. And they absolutely remember when you came in. And, of course, they were chuffed to bits that you loved being there. And there's oh. the actual nachos themselves with the haggis on top. This is so cool. Yeah. Anything on a menu that says haggis, I'm like, yep. <laughs> if it's done properly, it's a thing of beauty. And I'm thinking, like, let's take the nachos as inspiration. Let's go to Mexico via the islands of Scotland. And actually, the Mexicans have their very own haggis called Monteleo. Ooh. And, of course, it's their style. But it's the same principle, the same cuts, the same love, the same care. So I've got a recipe with some little short ribs, shoulder of pork, haggis, and this incredible, insane, like, wow. marinade. Mm. We're going to slow cook it, and then we're going to pull it and put it in homemade tacos. Oh. Salsas, bits and pieces. So Sam Smith, are you ready to come into the kitchen? I'm ready. Come on, everyone. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Cinch my way, cinch my way. Right, Sam, before us we have the mighty haggis. I love the look of it. We're going to make a dish where we're going to basically slow cook haggis, black pudding or any kind of nice sausage. We've got these short ribs here Amazing. and a shoulder of pork. Now, obviously, if we're going to jump and do that leap to that world of tacos, which is Mexico, we've got this paste called a red Ricardo paste. In a regular haggis, they would have allspice, salt, pepper, you know, onions. But in Mexico, and in this red Ricardo paste, we're using smoked ancho chilies, mm. oregano, mm. garlic, and then these anito seeds, which are a natural food colouring, but they're kind of nutmeggy and savoury in flavour. And with a little help from some oranges or some beautiful citrus, this makes the most incredible paste. So what we're going to do so is I've got a pan on here. I've got four garlic cloves that I'm going to okay. put straight into the pan on a high heat and I'm basically going to kind of try and scald it and burn oh, it. wow. So how are your knife skills? I'm OK. Yeah, so if you want to cut that <laughs> onion in half... OK, but me. how do you want it? Like, little? Just, just half. There you go. Straight in. Um, Beautiful. I love onion. For you do? Onion. What do you do with onions mm. normally in your life? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you read? <laughs> I don't know. How do you I like normally them? chop them like this. Yeah, <laughs> finely chopped. <laughs> yes, I like the sound effects as well. <laughs> in a liquidizer, we're going to add these soaked anito seeds. We're going to go in with the smoked ancho chili, sea salt, mm. black pepper, and then we've got allspice here. So what I'm going to do is ask you, if possible, to squeeze this orange into the liquidizer. I love the smell of citrus, don't you? Oh, me too. Whenever I feel like I'm getting sick, I panic and I just eat oranges. <laughs> Overcompensate. Yeah, and it, but it really helps. So look, we're going to go in That's pretty. with that blackened onion. Have a look at that. I'm going to put in a swig of vinegar, and then the garlic here will peel. And if you can just squeeze that out of there for me. And Ooh, then just put the... That's quite fun. Yeah. Should just slip out. Now, from that, what we're going to do is whiz it up and we're going to get the most amazing deep red paste. We're just going to bring all of this together. Oh, wow. So... That looks great. Then we go in with this paste <gasps> and then just massage it up. Oh, this feels weird. <laughs> <laughs> that sausage is putting you off, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's just... I can't massage this without it looking wrong. I've got two onions great. here, Sam, and I'm going to just basically finely slice them. You're doing a great job, by the way. Thanks. What we're going to do is put the onions in now, continue just to mix that up. I'll give it a little kiss of salt, and we'll add a little splash of stock, just about half a pint. We're going to go in with some greaseproof paper, and then I'm going to cover it in foil. So this will go in the oven at 130 degrees centigrade for about eight hours. So we'll put that in the oven until it just falls yeah. off the bone. Yeah, amazing. Um, now we're going to make some tacos. Oh, Have you ever it. made tacos? Never. For homemade tacos, simply put some corn flour and a pinch of salt in a bowl and mix together with some hot water. So, look, I'm just mixing this. Just have a feel of that. Oh, it's nice. So, we'll let that rest 
Are you OK to repeat that? Because we need enough for these lot here. And look how hungry they look. I know, I've got, to, I've got to get to work. Yeah. Let's do it. Good luck, my friend. Hi, guys. Welcome to my cooking show. Put your hands up if you've had haggis. OK, OK. There's some sheep guts virgin. Jamie sent me to give you a hand. Do you need any help? <laughs> Babe. <laughs> You massage that. I thought that was an aubergine. <laughs> <laughs> You've got the lovely tortilla dough made. Thank They've got you. the meat cooking beautifully. So a really simple little salsa that is really effective. We're going to use red onions and add an element of sweetness to it, adding a generous amount of salt to kind of season it and kind of begin to give it a kind of pickly vibe. And then squeeze over oranges, okay. right? So this orange will add sweetness and acidity. The lime, of course, has got that it's incredible working. attack that makes it really sour. So we'll let that do its thing. All of the veggies that I'm using today are actually from your family's market stall. No. For real. Thank you. Honestly, that's made my, made my whole week. Everything that's today actually... that we've got Thank is you. has come from them, which is lovely. So tomatoes on the vine, we're going to put them straight on the gas hob. No. And we want to blister them. And we're going to do the same with some beautiful jalapenos. Oh, that smells divine. So I'm just going to take that end of the jalapeno. I've got a garlic here. I'll just peel that. And then I'm just going to smash it up. And you're kind of dragging out different flavours. Grab some of your uncle's coriander there. Oh, I still, I'm honestly, that choked me up. Can't believe that. Bless you. You just muddle that in for yeah. me, darling. That is great. Um, I'll season it now. And then I'll kiss that with more lime juice. It just looks so pretty. Mmm. I'm pleased with that. OK, should we do some homemade tortillas? Let's do it. So press it down like that. Oh, no, it's stuck on my hand. <laughs> OK. Wait. OK. Go for it. Oh, my all... God. <laughs> Mine's so bad. That's Look okay. at that. No, no, listen. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> so, if in doubt... Look, we take a cutter. That's cheating. And we cut it out. But whatever makes you happy. OK, I'm going to try now. So, go on. we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Come on, Sam. Show them this one. That's all right. There you go, you see? <laughs> Told you. Told you. Thanks. In the pan. See? Just got to repeat. Keep going. Got to repeat that another it's 60 times. It's exhausting, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> In the oven here is one that I made earlier. Just smell Ooh. it, smell it, smell it, smell it. Oh. Wow. Wow. So, let's take off the oh, tinfoil. We've got that oh, as well. Oh, wow. Now, you can see what's happening. It's dark. Oh, my God. Mysterious. What we're going to do is get two forks. <gasps> Look at the haggis. Now, you can see the haggis has just oh. split up a little bit, but that's fine. Look, if I just fork it up, oh, that in the taco is going to be amazing. That's insane. The sweetest, most delicious meat in the pork probably is in between the ribs, that bit there. Try that. Mmm. Mm. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Let's load these up. A little bit of the beautiful pork shoulder. Mm. It just looks so good. I'm going to take a spoon of the haggis. Oh, that looks incredible. I love food more than anything in the world. More than singing, Sam? Yes. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> We're going to get some of that beautiful, sweet rib meat. And then wow. we can kind of, like, vajazzle it with exciting things, right? So this we're talking so about those amazing transformed red onion. Yeah. We'll take just one little slice of avocado. Don't want to overload it. And then got that incredible salsa that's just, wow. like, got that kicker heat. How are we getting on? How are we Come getting on? Come and have a try, guys. It what smells amazing! Guys, this is next level. This is the Sam Smith soft taco with the haggis, the rib meat, the salsa. You go first. Just pinch it up at the side. It's a lovely blend. You can almost hear the mariachi band and the bagpipes all together. It's a messy one, isn't it? But it's it a, is. But it's a mouthful. Ugh. There's a beer right there for you. Oh, this is so good. Well, I'm coming over the top, Jimmy. Wow. Mm. Oh, leave it out, Jamie. <laughs> leave it There's out. There's so many meats and the flavour in that. Mm. That's amazing. That's unbelievable. That's one of the best tacos I've ever had in my life. Bless you. Wow. Thank down. you so much. So good. <laughs> oh my god. I feel like I'm interrupting or something. <laughs> <laughs>